Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very warm welcome to Glasgow and to our stunning new Emirates Arena, home of the 2013 World Youth Netball Championships. It's going to be a good championships. The event is organised by Glasgow Life on behalf of Glasgow City Council in partnership with Netball Scotland and of course the International Netball Federation. Today we're here to witness the draw for the group stages of the championship which will take place this August. Now the draw will be overseen and monitored by International Netball Federation technical delegate Joan Mills. Welcome to Glasgow, nice to have you here. And the team will be drawn by Councillor Archie Graham, the Chair of Glasgow Life Board and Executive Member for the Commonwealth Games 2014. And the Honourable Molly Roan, President of the International Netball Federation. It's good to have you both here. I'm delighted to say we also have the Chief Executive of Netball Scotland, Maggie Murray, who's with us today. And first of all, I'm going to ask Councillor Graham to say a few words. Thanks very much, uh, Brian. Um, on behalf of Glasgow Life and the City Council, I'd like to uh, add my own welcome uh, to you all to the Emirates Arena for the uh, group stage draw of the 2013 World Youth Netball Championships. I'd really like to thank, just finishing uh, off by thanking the International um, Netball Federation, Netball Scotland themselves, Event Scotland and UK uh, Sport, all of whom um, have put uh, time, effort and money into making uh, these uh, championships uh, happen. We look forward to continuing to work with them uh, in the period between now and the championships and beyond. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. I'd now like to welcome the President of the INF, the Honourable Molly Rowan. Thank you very much. I'm so delighted to be here to take part in this in this draw and I'm sure the girls will enjoy being here being at the university and just hopefully we'll all just have a great time so thank you Netball Scotland thank you the council thank you members of Glasgow Life looking forward to being here in August thank you very much Madam President you provide the exciting netball and we will provide the weather although <laughs> the last time these championships were held they were in the Cook Islands yeah which is not a lot like Glasgow in August, I have to say. Uh, last but not least, please welcome Maggie Murray, the Chief Executive of Netball Scotland. Hi everyone, and we're saving the best to last. Uh, Councillor Graham, President Rowan, it is our pleasure and honour to be with you to share in this significant moment in our journey to the World Youth Netball Championships. Within our netball community in Scotland, we believe that netballers are not inspired by organisations or grand statements within strategic plans. They are inspired by other netballers. Athletes are inspired by other athletes. For that reason, we put, in Scotland, we put the player at the heart of everything we do. So my final words are therefore to the players, to the young under 21 players. Good luck in your preparation. Stay strong and true to your commitment to be part of a successful, winning international team. Our hearts and minds will be with you as you represent your country with pride. To the exciting part of the day and the draw for the group stages of the 2013 World Youth Netball Championships. Now this is a formal procedure, but please don't feel you have to behave formally. <laughs> it would be really nice, especially for our flag bearers, if you could applaud, cheer as the various countries uh, come up to the front uh, to be part of their groups. 20 teams from all over the world, 240 competitors. Now, based on the final results from the World Youth Netball Championships in 2009, the top four teams have been seeded. So, gold medalists, Australia, are ranked number one. They go into Group A. New Zealand, silver medal winners. Our second and going to Group B, Jamaica, won bronze. And in Group C, 
and England place fourth and will go on to group D. From this point, all the teams will be drawn randomly. We'll start at group D, then C, B and A, and then we go A, B, C, D, and so on in a snake formation. Before we begin the draw, please welcome our flag bearers carrying the flags of the International Netball Federation. Our flag bearers are on board from Maddie from Highland and Scotland, under 21, Lindsay Gallagher, who you may just recognise from the poster at the front of the room there. <laughs> so now, Councillor Graham, you have the bag in front of you. Four groups, and as I say, 20 teams from all over the world. Who's going to be the first team? If you tell me the number, we'll tell you the team and which group they're going into. Number seven. Number seven is Barbados, who go into Group D alongside England. <laughs> Barbados finished 18th in 2005 and 12th in 2009. Their senior team currently ranked ninth in the world. Seventeen. Team seventeen is Wales, who go into Group C alongside Jamaica. <laughs> Wales were eleventh in two thousand and five and thirteenth in two thousand and nine, and their senior team ranked to the top ten in the world. Wales going to Group C. The next one is ten. Number 10 is Trinidad and Tobago, who go to Group B. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, senior team is ranked 8. They were just inside the top 10 in 2009, 8 in 2005. Trinidad and Tobago in Group B. 6. Number 6 is South Africa, who go to Group A. <laughs> South Africa's senior team currently ranked sixth in the world. They were fifth in 2005 and seventh in 2009. South Africa in Group A alongside the number one team, Australia. 18. Number 18 is Fiji, who go to Group A. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fiji joins South Africa and Australia and the group A finished 13th in 05, 9th in 2009. Their senior team currently ranked 10th in the world, Fiji in Group A. 14. Number 14 is Northern Ireland who go to Group B. Northern Ireland were 6th in 2005, 8th in 2009, and their senior team ranked 11th in the world. Northern Ireland in Group B alongside Trinidad and Tobago and New Zealand. Next one is number 9. Number 9 are the Cayman Islands who go to Group C. The Cayman Islands are first time entrants in the WINC. Welcome to the Championships and welcome to Glasgow. The Cayman Islands who join Jamaica and Wales in Group C. 19. I beg your pardon? 19. 19 is Papua New Guinea who go to Group D. Papua New Guinea join Barbados and England in Group D. 16th of 2009. Their seniors are ranked in the top 20 and we wish them the best of luck when they come to Glasgow in August. 15. Number 15 is Republic of Ireland who go to Group D. Republic of Ireland join Papua New Guinea, Barbados and England in that tough Group D. First time entrance into the competition as well. Their senior team joined the rankings this season and are 30th. The best of luck. 20. Team number 20 is Samoa. We go to Group C. Samoa joined the Cayman Islands, Wales and Jamaica in Group C. They were 7th in 2005 and 11th in 2009.
Team 8. Team 8 are Bermuda. And they go to Group B. Bermuda go to Group B. <laughs> Having missed the 2009 event, we welcome Bermuda. Back to the World Youth Football Championships. And welcome them to Glasgow. Bermuda join Northern Ireland, Trinidad and Tobago and New Zealand in Group B. 12. Number 12, Israel. Go to Group A. Oh <laughs> Fresh time entrance into the competition. Join Fiji, South Africa, and Australia. And a top oh Group oh A. Five. Team number five, Namibia. Who go to Group A. <laughs> Namibia are another first time entrance. Great to see so many. New countries coming here. Namibia join Group A. Israel, Fiji, South Africa and Australia. There are three places left. I wonder, could it be this? 13. 13. Team number 13 are Malta. <laughs> oh, Malta oh, yeah. group to group B and that group comprises of New Zealand, Trinidad, Tobago, Northern Ireland, Bermuda and of course uh, Malta. A more first time entrance. Their senior team joined the rankings this season and are 31st. So very nervous Scotland under 21s here, I have to say. 16. Team number 16 is the host nation in Scotland. Yeah. Scotland comes to Group C. Scotland joins Samoa, the Cayman Islands, Wales, and Jamaica. The whole nation was six in 2012 and 2005. Oh, the Scottish is going on 15th in the world. And finally, number 11. Number 11, no surprises, is Singapore, who go to Group D, 14th in 2009. Group D now comprises England, Barbados, Papua New Guinea, Republic of Ireland, and Singapore. Well, we can breathe again now, I folks. Uh, that was exciting. That concludes the draw for the World Youth Netball Championships for 2013. I'm sure the competition will be fierce and there are going to be some very tough games here at the Emirates Arena in August. I'd like to thank Councillor Graham, Chair of Glasgow Life Board and the Executive Member for the Commonwealth Games 2014 and the Honourable Molly Rowan, President of the International Netball Federation for their assistance in today's draw. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to welcoming you all back to Glasgow on the 22nd of August 2013 for the opening game here at the Emirates Arena. And finally, we've got some great young netballers and members of our under-21 team who've done a brilliant job helping us out today and carrying our flags. Please round off by giving them a huge round of applause. Thank you.